Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. You can see I cleared the watt hour meter, meter, so that's been zeroed. And I poured exactly one quart. I let this run out of gas. And I put just one quart in it. And I'm going to do a load test now. And we're going to see two things. How many kilowatt hours I was able to produce per gallon. And also how long it runs per gallon. So two things. Time, time per gallon and total kilowatts per gallon should be pretty easy to do. And so let's get going. exactly what we're seeing come into the batteries so the house is also of course running and two amps out of this on this cloudy day two amps out of that one amp and a half out of that one so we'd be holding our own through the afternoon it would cover the refrigerator coming on and off and the few lights but we really wouldn't be charging much so now by firing up that generator at 1800 rpms I'm bringing 30 amps upstairs and the batteries are at 96% so that's kind of irrelevant it just has to be low enough that I'm not into my absorb mode yet on the solar controllers well they wouldn't get there today obviously close but not quite so we'll see how this goes and while I'm at it I think I'll grab me a Jalapeno, are there any red ones? That one's slightly red. I think that's the reddest one there. Alright. Ooh, that's looking good. Okay, I will let you know how this turns out. Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. Well, I'm up at absorb voltage and been holding for about an hour, and that sounds like it's running out of fuel to me. <laughs> okay, 0.998, 998 watt hours in almost exactly an hour. Mm. Yeah, what do you think of that, pup? We could call that four hours per gallon, almost exactly, and 998, we'll call out a thousand. A few more seconds it would have been there. And that would be four kilowatt hours out of a gallon. Well, there you have it. $2.75 a gallon divided by four hours or four kilowatts is 68 cents. That's a long ways away from the diesel. The diesel uh, efficiency is almost exactly twice efficiency it's 36 cents and this is 68 cents well that's just the first test and my is my guess is that the diesel is going to come down to about what I've seen in the past the question is and that's through the inverter with the diesel MEP 0-16D Yanmar military generator Powering the inverter charger, I'm bringing it down to 36 cents. Um, 
this is a long ways from that but I think when I get the diesel engine going on a good alternator a high efficiency alternator doing what I'm doing I'm going to see this improve but that's good enough for what it needed it for today when I went out there and looked uh, right as it was uh, running out of fuel I noticed that I was at absorbed voltage and had been for a period of time. So I went ahead and put a little more gas in it and I'll let it finish off the absorbed charge and that way my batteries are, are clear full today. And if I have to do that once or twice a week, um, that's not going to break the bank and I don't have to run the diesel generator at all, which one of my primary things I'm trying to do is, is keep the wear and tear off that Yanmar and use cheaper motors. All right. Have a blessed day. Greetings, family, friends, and survivors. I've got the 301cc Predator engine set at 1800 RPM. Right now I'm running with the voltage regulator at 29 amps. And that's at 24 volts. So now I'm going to do a load test to see how well this engine runs. 40 amps, 40 amps 24, so I think 80 amps is trouble. Doing what we wanted to do. Have a blessed day.